Hey everybody, welcome back to an exciting Super Rare Games Nintendo Switch Physical Edition unboxing. And today we have, I believe, number 15, yep, from Super Rare Games, which is going to be Joe Dever's Lone Wolf. And for those of you that don't know, Super Rare Games pretty much does what they say. They do very small runs of physical editions of Nintendo Switch indie games. And I like playing these. They've, they've had a lot of awesome releases so far. The company's getting a little bit bigger. They're going to start releasing collector's editions soon. I will do my best to try and get those. But for now, we just have standard editions. And I've been doing pretty good with doing all the collector's cards. we got a couple of booster packs. So we're going to check this out and we're going to play some of the game. We're going to see what we think here. There's nothing else in that box. So we'll toss that to the side. And of course you get the Super Rare Games card with all their contact information. If you definitely want to check them out, I highly recommend it. And I am definitely a big fan of theirs. Now, as you can see, I did get my two booster packs of cards. We'll try to set those to the side. We'll come back to those after we do some gameplay. And we get the nice little extra sticker sealing things together. Artwork's kind of dark, but we'll see that better when I get things out. We get an extra sticker. It always comes with a big sticker and a pack of booster cards as well, or I guess a pack of cards. Those are the boosters to the side. Now, I'm sorry, I know this is the thing that breaks some people's hearts, but I don't really care about this because I got the bigger sticker for later if I want it. So, sorry about that, but I gotta do what I gotta do. So, let's get in here. Oh, this, uh, does this have a slip cover? Oh, it has a slip cover, nice. So again, these do come from across the sea. I'm in the United States, so these come from the UK. And uh, so we get the, the nice bigger thing with the art custom now to the sticker. But that's why you're gonna see the big ratings block on there. But the Nintendo Switch is region free, so you don't really have to worry about it. So again, we'll check out these cards at the end. I'm gonna set those aside so I know which pack came out of the box. Quick look at the box. We'll take the plastic off so you can see it better without any of the shine on it. This should be a little bit easier to get it. Well, I can't tell, is this like, I wonder if it's just one layer of plastic or the game is also gonna be sealed in plastic under there. No, it's just the one layer. Good, good, good. Because like, how much plastic do we need? All right, so that's pretty cool that it comes with a slip case though. That doesn't happen. And I think this one sold out faster than anything they've ever done. Um, I think they did about 4,000 copies of this. I could be wrong, don't hold me to that. Single player game. And again, Nintendo of America won't let to put the number on the spine, but across the sea they get to, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty nice though. You don't usually get a slip case for these, so cool. Nice popper open, oh yeah. I like that art, that looks pretty nice. Again, you still get the number on the spine of the actual cartridge. I think maybe that shows you something a little different. Not really, but kinda. And inside, yes, we get some bonus art, we get a booklet. So I guess that's some kind of monsters in there we're gonna be fighting, that's pretty cool. Sorry, I'm in the shot, can't help it. Need a polarizer filter for this. And there is the cartridge. So that looks nice. I do love having these physical. I mean, I get digital. I'm not, I'm not knocking it. It's just I prefer physical. Since we do the cards after the gameplay, we'll go ahead and take a look at the art book since there's not much more going on here. But I do love getting ex exclusive booklets with these as well. So you're a little bit about super rare. You're gonna get some concept art in here, it looks like. So that's pretty cool. So there's mostly gonna be an art booklet, no instructions, I'm guessing, that kind of stuff. You know, yeah, I never really know. I'm just happy it comes with some kind of booklet at all, so. This is pretty cool. I like the art. I think this is gonna be pretty neat. It's giving me a Dark Souls vibe, if I'm thinking of the correct game. What is it, there's Dark Souls and there's something else that I always get confused. Diablo. Yeah, I'm thinking this is a bit more Dark Souls. Maybe it's diablo -y. I don't know. Maybe they're all kind of in the same vein and <laughs> I'm just driving myself crazy trying to remember. That's really cool. I'm assuming, yeah, that's a level we're gonna get to play and I'm looking forward to it. I hope that's an early level and we'll get to see me play it together here in just a second. All right, so it is straight up an art book, but that's still pretty neat. I like that. I feel like we got something like that in a box, but I think it was more for Witcher, so. All right, well anyways, why don't you guys watch me play this game? Okay, here we are to try out Lone Wolf. Joe Devers, Lone Wolf. So first and foremost, is there a download? Uh, nope. Game on. I'm having some vodka and club soda tonight, because it's a Zumba night. I'm dieting, I had a bottle of wine yesterday. I don't get, I don't get to do that twice in a row. I mean, I could, but I shouldn't, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> All right, oh, I probably need some more volume in the room here. Press A to get closer. Use arid extra die to get a little bit closer. I almost said that correctly. Looks like maybe our volume mix is pretty good. The game can maybe come up some. Oh, I had to press A to go to a loading screen. That's awesome. 
I don't know how I'm going to feel about this game. I, I, I'm more in the mood for a platformer right now. I think this is going to be more of a, I don't know, what do you call these? Like more story based, I guess, which I like. You know, I still like single player story modes. Definitely a long loading screen. Am I going to have to wait for it to load all that gray text all the way around? It's only 25% because that is some bull poopy. Or maybe wolf logs considering the, uh, in the insignia there. Wow. Wow. Let's see how many times I can say wow before the loading screen is over. That counts as a third one, by the way, when I just said it. Wow. 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 Oh my God. Sorry, I had to do that. I was thinking about Angry Birds. Oh, I already forgot how many wows I've said. Are you serious that they have this long of a freaking loading screen? <laughs> Like, do this load on boot. Why did you even give me this weird start screen to, like, press a button and then, okay. All right, we'll get there. You know what? It's more time to drink. Let's look at it that way. Mm-hmm. Because I know this is what y'all clicked on this video for, and you couldn't wait to get to the Let's Play and watch a load screen for, like, I think that was over 60 seconds. All right, write your story. What are the options? Mm, let's look at game settings. Yep, yep, yep. Nope, that should all be fine. Let's get this party started. A little more volume. This might be a quiet game. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, we'll go on normal. Screw it. Uh, I, I hit normal. Oh, I had to hit. Okay. <laughs> you alone wolf. Your life is not an ordinary one. You assess and counter all challenges with... Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, 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 multiple choice menu, choose your path, write down your story, pay attention, you decide your action, shape the world around you. Select each icon with the left stick, and then confirm with the confirm command, okay. Uh, okay. Uh... Okay. Um. Ah, okay. I had to hit B to get out of it. Thanks for telling me, game. You always prefer a straightforward and decisive approach, though it is often reckless. That sounds like me. You carefully assess the details of any situation before attempting to overcome an obstacle. That's also kind of like me. Depends on the situation. You rely on your dexterity and intuition to overcome any obstacle. Um, intuition, yeah, dexterity, not so much. Uh, well, it's definitely between these two. And I feel like fighting. I don't got patience. Ain't got time for that. Oh, uh, so, yeah, you counter all challenges with strength. Many are the battles you have fought in defense of Summerland, wielding your... Oh my god, this is gonna... Okay. Sword. Easy and quick to use. Maces are heavy, slow. Ooh. Ooh, an axe. And my axe. Yeah, I'm an axe man. I like to play the axe. You are more than a gifted warrior. You possess special King Kai disciplines that give you mastery of masturbation. Because I'm definitely really good at that. It used to be better. I'm a little more out of practice these days. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Uh, TMI. Uh, <laughs> Healing restores your health and improves your masturbation skills. I did that on purpose, by the way. I know what it said. Survival combines the skills of master tracker, hunter, baiter, and explorer. Oh boy, this is gonna be the masturbation stream, everybody, apparently. Um, I guess healing. Mind blast and mind shield transform your mind into powerful psychic weapons and psionic shield. Mind of a matter lets you manipulate objects in your environment. Uh, Let's go with that one. 
Animal kinship enables you to communicate with and influence most animals, or you're able to perform extraordinary martial feats. Martial? Marital? Martial feats due to your mastery of weapon skill. Let's go with that. I'm allergic to animals. Camouflage enables you to blend into your surroundings, enhancing your stealth and secrecy. Your sixth sense tells you you are dead all along, enhances your natural intuition, helping you to identify and counter unseen dangers. I'm sorry if I spoiled a 30-year-old movie for everybody. 20-year-old movie? Something like that. Um, let's go with that. All right, so... Uh, you're more than a gift of warrior. You possess special kind of disciplines that give you mastery of healing, mind blast, mind shield, weapon skill, and camouflage for Summerland. For Summerland and the Kai. Can we finally play? The art's cool, though. I like the art so far. So it's like my skill tree. I mean, it's no God of War yet, but... Is this your story? Is this your past? Eh, we'll go with it. I can always change things when I eventually redo this. So how are we doing here? Jeez, we're seven minutes in. I haven't got to play anything yet. We're not for quite many seven. Centuries, oh. The Kai Lords defended their kingdom shh, of Solomon shh, shh, from the Dark Lords of Helgadad. Oh, Helga, shh. Many battles were fought and won <laughs> by the Kai, but finally came their demise. Just gives me a chance to drink. Mm. Three years ago, the monastery of your warrior order was attacked uh -huh. by the armies of the Dark Lords. Oh, was it now? The Kai were destroyed. Aww, what about you Bubbles? Is Bubbles okay? The one who survived the final battle. Well, that makes sense. I'm usually the last man standing. All seemed lost, but you retrieved the Summer Sword. The oh, Sword. Never used a Sword before. You slew Zagana, the Dark Lord leader. Zartana? You saved your kingdom from destruction. Thank you, Zartana. Now, Wait, what? The lesser Dark Lords hunger to take their revenge. It falls to you, the last Kai Lord of Somerland. I'm a Kai Lord? Their evil schemes once Kai more. Lord Ren? I just, I just want to eat bait. I just want to eat bacon. <laughs> and we're back to the reading pages. This game is awesome so far. No, I know, I know. Sometimes these games just take a while to get started. I know. But come on, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do this in a reasonable amount of time. Blood on the snow. Winter has already come, guys. Uh, turn the pages. Yes, yes, yes. You can turn the pages using confirm button and arrows. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Maybe I should have read it. Because <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. I've read this. I know. Oh, there's more. Hold on. Wait. No, I haven't read this. All right. My quest is updated. I don't care to read that. Do I have to read that? Can we just play? I just want to get in there and slash. I was going to try and do uh, Sweet Child of Mine, but nope. I do like the art style. This would look good in a book. Like a real book. If you guys want to read all that, you can pause. I ain't got time to read. If I, was, if I had time to read, I'd be reading a Star Wars book. I'm behind on a bunch of those, and I've been wanting to read one. You don't master this discipline. You don't want to waste any more time. You urge your horse to gallop. You decide to be careful and proceed on foot. Wait, is this literally going to be like a reading choose your own adventure? Because that's not what I got from the back of the box. <clears throat> I don't want to waste any more time. I'm not even reading what's going on. <clears throat> Excuse me, why? This is not your ally. Hurriedly, you mount your horse and urge him to full gallop. Rose covered with snow. Horse is strong and sure foot. Oh, do I actually have to like, wait, what? What? Wait, what? X. What in the, what the? <sighs> yeah, 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 Jesus. Uh-huh. Okay. This is not at all the game I thought it was gonna be. I don't. I don't, uh, what, what happened to games that like teach you how to play it along the way? Why do I have to learn everything in the beginning? Cause I'm not going to remember any of this. I just want to play a game. Ugh. what am I even doing here? Ah, oh, geez. This is like what we already read, isn't it? 
I don't know. Oh, no. My horse has got broken legs. Aw, oh, poor Gluey. He was gonna be my lifetime companion. Make your choice. Eh, I mean, he was gonna be my lifetime companion, but there's more fish in the sea. Yeah, let's do it swiftly. I might actually, oh, I need steps, and I'm not gonna be able to get them because this game's taking too long. Damn it, I hit every hour tonight. I need 100, can I get 107 steps while I'm sitting still? You know what, I'm gonna see if I can stand up and Zumba step. So if my voice is changing, oh, I guess I should play the game too because you can't see that I'm doing this, so it's probably not entertaining to you. I can see things better now. <clears throat> All right, I'm trying to keep my eye on this thing and see if it actually counts me stepping. No, I don't think it is, but whatever, I'm gonna keep trying. Oh, I've got more range of movement here than I thought, so, uh, all right, whatever, you follow the road, snakes gently. Oh, I am moving on a path. Is this really how this game plays? Because this is boring. I mean, there's probably a great story here if I was in the zone and knew what I was getting into. Again, pause if you want to read it, because I don't care. Wolves. I thought this was going to be more like a hack and slash kind of thing. Okay, good. My sidestepping is working, so I'm going to do this till I hit my 250. His thick gray, his thick gray body fur is highlighted with gold colored hairs that ripple and gleam as he draws closer. He is a powerful hunter, yet you have no need to be afraid of him. With a narrowing of his wise eyes, he warns you that great danger lies ahead. Yes, my friend, you murmur quietly. Yet to face this danger I must. Here are my pub people. They are my pack. I am their leader and I must protect them. I don't know, it just started to sound like erotic fan fiction for a minute, so I had to go with that. <clears throat> Yay, world map stuff. World map! <laughs> All right, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not even reading this. Are you reading this? Yeah, I'm reading this. All right, cool, audience, good. As long as you're enjoying it. Because I do this for you, Damien, it's all for you. Am I there yet? These side steps are a little bit trickier. Come on. Update, all right, I still need like 54 steps. But I can only go about four steps sideways, four steps back. <laughs> So this is a Zumba and video game play exercise time, and I'm not gonna play too much more of this right now because this is, I'm not enjoying this. All right, at least I was able to move my guy. Sure, let's write my story from here. Maybe I will get done in time to, oh my God. All right. <clears throat> The village of Rockstarn was once a thriving and vibrant mining community, nestling among the slopes on the surrounding mountains. Life here on the border with the Darklands is harsh, yet the villagers of Rockstarn are hardy and industrious community. They are fiercely loyal to you, their liege lord, and to King Unla, Ulan, Ul Ul Ulna, and Sumerland, now Rockstarn lies silent and smoldering. The noise of its steam engines and its armory no longer echoes among the high peaks. Cautiously, you approach the entrance to the village. It is eerily quiet. The smell of wood smoke that you detected from a distance is now heavy with the cloying stench of death. You stare unblinkingly at the horrific scene that greets you. The blood-soaked and lifeless bodies of villagers lie strewn about the streets. Many were cut down as they fled, while others died, fighting desperately to protect their loved ones and their homes. Recent snowfall has... There is so much goddamn reading. Recent snowfall has covered the slain with a thin white shroud, sparing you the unsettling sight of their gaping, frozen asshole wounds. All around, several shops and dwellings have been badly burned or completely destroyed by the fire. Except, oddly enough, the sex shop, where you find a vast array of wooden butt plugs. 
There are too many victims hereabouts for you to gather their bodies and give them a decent burial, as is the customary practice in Summerland. The terrible price that has been paid by the villagers of Rockstarn, partly as a consequence of your late arrival, <laughs> sorry about that, weighs heavily on your heart. Ooh, bacon! You close your eyes, praise your face, raise your face to the cloudy sky, and make a silent thought plea to the goddess Ishtar to gather and protect the souls of the slain. Am I still having to read? My god, I hit my steps. I'm sitting back down. I zoom, but I'm good. Um, oh god. <sighs> I guess we'll read just a little bit more. Let's try another voice, though. You open your eyes and advance along the main street. Your nerves as taut as wound steel wires. Then you hear something. It is the sound of silence of bare feet on fresh snow. It is followed by the rattle of loose armor and a gurgle and growl that sets your pulse a racing. It is a Gary Gayak. Uh-oh, dun dun dun. Ook eek uka tag jat nick. It drools through its sharp uneven teeth. You recognize the foul yak language and know enough of it to translate the creature's chilling utterance. I bring you a slow death and I don't care who you are, that's funny right there. Your fears are confirmed by the presence of this hateful Gaiac. Rockstarn has been attacked by a Gaiac riding party, raiding party. The creature stalking towards you is only one of many now occupying the village. The Gaiac closes in and defiantly you Whip out your dick and start masturbating. Then you stand your ground. Actually, that is a tactic that might work. You can expect to receive no mercy from this creature, and you will give none in return. So maybe we get a quick little battle, stupid thing here. Oh my god, wait, hold up. There is something different happening. What the, what the hell? Oh, that was a much faster load screen than the game start. Okay. Wait, what? Now it's an actual hack and slash? What the? What? What? Well, I'm glad I didn't give up on this yet, but what? All right, melee, summer sword, ranged, Kai. Yeah. All right, whatever. Let's just fight. Ranged? Wait, why are you? No, it's Kai. Okay. Ranged. Ugh! How? Are you kidding? Like, teach me the controls in the game. What? Can I do anything? I don't seem to be able to do anything. What did I do? I didn't do anything. Maybe I should have read the instructions. Oh, okay. Music's got a vaguely late phantasm vibe to it, like Ravenger or something. Oh, I get okay. So I get to go again? No, his turn. Just kill me and put me out of my misery. I thought the whole game was gonna be like this. Oh god, more crap to So much freaking reading. This game needs to make up its mind what it is. I mean it must be like an awesome game. People talk about it. I wouldn't mind just dying. <laughs> oh, right. I still don't understand what I'm doing with the left stick thing here. No, I think I am gonna beat this thing, unless I just totally botch this. Don't care! Okay. Whoops. Why? Why? I don't remember which button Y is. Oh. Got him! Wait, didn't I just watch him fall? Oh, I got another guy. Well, good, maybe I'll die after all, because that way I can quit this game and go play a different one for next week. I mean, there's probably healing components, but it just took too long to get here, man. You know? Like, just too long to get here. All right, let's see if I can actually... Oh, nope, all right, I don't know what I'm doing. I get a strike again? 
Um, it's not letting me choose anything now. Oh, I think I was supposed to put my short, my short, my short up. I'm supposed to put up my short. Just kill me already. Don't you know I want to die? There we go. Thank you. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Popricia. Yeah, it's over. It's over. I'm, I'm done. I give up. That's how I go back to the main menu. Okay. So, I mean, if I have a ton of time, like, I don't get a lot of time. So, if I got 20, 30 minutes to play a game, I want to jump into that game. I don't want to take 15 minutes before I get to do anything actually fun and spend 15 minutes reading. You know what I'm saying? It knows my name, too. It says Eric down there. That's so weird. I mean, I guess because the Switch knows it, but whatever. All right, well anyways, I mean, I, again, I might like this game. Like if I was like in the mood for something like this and I got a day to spend on it, sure. As it stands, the moment, not that much. So that's enough of that. Let's send it back to that super handsome um, person watching Eric unbox something, because he's ugly. All right, so there you go. Hopefully that was fun. Hopefully I had some funny or interesting things to say. You never know with me, it is a crapshoot. It also depends on what the game is like. But hopefully I did something fun that you're enjoying. You can certainly let me know in the comments if you'd like. Now we're gonna go through these cards and see if we can get a full set of five. I've been incredibly lucky doing that lately. Um, I feel like I'm bound to fail at that eventually. So will this be the time? We're gonna find out. So first up, we have the pack that actually came with the game itself. And again, if you don't know about these, they do five different cards for every game release. And you get three actual cards in here. I know there's four, I'll explain in just a second. Because uh, one of them, of course, is this card, which is just the box art, which also keeps these spoiler free on the other side. So we'll go ahead and set that up there for my thumbnail. So let's see which three we start with. We start with card number one, Lone Wolf himself. That is pretty cool. And of course we are getting card number two. I do not know how to pronounce that, but that's pretty neat. All right, and we get card number three. So did we get one, two, and three? We got one, two, and three with a Drakkar. Nice art design. And of course they all have that same thing on the back. All right, that said, now we're gonna see if we can find cards four and five out of here. This is what makes it fun for me, the gamble, the pursuit, the collecting, the hoarding as some would say. <laughs> so again, we get the spoiler free art card. Now here we go. Everybody wish me luck. Fingers crossed, are we gonna do it? All right, so we got another lone wolf. We know we're gonna get duplicates, it's gonna happen. Okay, and we got another Drakkar, okay. Okay, we need to get either one, we need to get one of the others in here or we're probably in trouble. Oh good, 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 good. So what do we got here? We got number four. Oh, that's a cool looking beastie. That's a really cool looking beastie. Cool, we're gonna set that to the side so the thumbnail doesn't spoil for anybody. All right, as a matter of fact, why don't we go ahead and lay some more of those out. And here we go, final pack. We need card number five, y'all. Card number five is alive. Spoiler card. Flop it to the side. Oh, I <laughs> got ahead of myself. All right, we got us another Giac and uh, another Drakkar. Uh-oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Like I said, we're, no, this looks different. Oh my God, we did it. Yes, we got the fifth card. We have a full set. I don't know how I keep getting full sets. I guess, I don't know, because I'm ordering three at a time now. That's pretty cool. All right, well, there you guys go, the guys and gals and everybody else. That is Super Rare Games release number 15, Joe, Joe Devers' Lone Wolf. I hear this game is fantastic, and judging by how quickly it's sold out, I believe it's gonna be. Hopefully I've had a blast playing it. Hopefully you've had a blast watching me, but definitely drop some comments below. Let me know what you're thinking about this. This is a game you wanna check. I imagine you can go grab this on the eShop right now if you really wanna play it, and geek out with me in the comments. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Other than that, you can click that thumbs up button if it ain't too sore from playing video games. Give me that good old thumb of encouragement. As I do love to be encouraged. Now I'm gonna get out of here so I can go play some more games and open up some more stuff. And I'll see you all later.